Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Mo and on this channel I talk about cake business and I share tips on how you can grow your cake business. I'm an international award-winning cake artist that is based in Manchester, the United Kingdom and you're all welcome to my channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, I am really delighted and excited to have you here. And if you've always been here, thank you so much for your support and thank you for always being here. Please don't forget to show your support to my channel by clicking the like button right away. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe just in case you haven't subscribed. We are really excited to have you here, to be honest. We are really happy to have you here. So join the family and turn on notifications as well so that you're notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that is important and that you've asked me to talk about. I think I had somebody ask me, how do you deliver your cake safely? And then another person or the same person, I can't remember now, asked me, how do you deliver wedding cake safely? And I thought, hmm, nice discussion. Let's talk about it. Although I've done a video about this before, but I'm just going to do an updated version and also share some new tips or a new tip. So without further ado, let's go right into the video. Please don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. You're welcome back. So I believe that this is something that we should be talking about every now and then because I can't even think of any baker who has not had a cake mishap or a cake accident or a cake incident, whatever it is, probably from your cake shop or when you were in trances or when you go to the venue, we have almost all of us experienced the same issue. So what do you do to avoid this and how can you ensure a cake safe delivery? The first thing I would say is right from your cake, you need to ensure that everything is fine. Right from the structure of your cake, you need to ensure that everything is fine, everything is good. Some of us will see those red signs, we'll see those red flags and we'll see those things that show us and that tell us that this cake is not going to make it to the location or the venue of the event or whatever in one piece and you ignore those signs and you go right ahead to you know deliver the cake and then you get that call that dreaded call that call that we don't always want to hear so please ensure that you're structuring right you're doubling your cakes right you're doing everything you need to do right if you've been here on my channel for a while you'll know that i don't send out my cakes without doubling them i always put a dowel in my cakes even if it's Maybe it's not a tall cake or my regular standard. I usually would just put a center, a dowel in the center. So ensure that the center and the structure is right. If you're using fillings, don't overdo it. If you know that you're using fillings, you also don't want to put it directly on your cake. Okay, from experience, I'm talking based, based on experience. You don't want to put it directly on your cake because aside the fact that it will shorten the shelf life of your cake, it's also going to affect the texture of your cake. So your cake is going to become soggy. So when it becomes soggy, your dowel rods or whatever you're putting inside your cake, your bubble straws, they will not be able to hold, they will not be able to support your cake once the texture is not good. So you want to make sure that you're putting a layer, a thin layer of buttercream, whipped cream, Swiss meringue buttercream, Italian meringue buttercream, whatever you're using, put it a little on your layer on the layer of your cake and then you put that filling and then you put a dam make a dam around the cake put a barrier around the cake if you watched videos you would see that people pipe extra when they've done that they pipe extra around the edges of the cake that is so that it doesn't seep out so you need to take extra precaution for the structure of your cake i'm talking so much about this because it's very very fundamental and very very important so make sure that you're not putting it directly on the cake because to make the cake soggy and make the texture the crumb loose such that your bubble straws they're going to just even aid it to to break in pieces to break apart without you know without even blinking an eye to go it will happen so fast right so don't put it directly on the layer of the cake and also make a dam to protect it so that it doesn't seep. Use a minimal quantity. Please, what you see on the internet, all those fast 30 seconds, 40 seconds video, and they show you they put um, fillings inside, they put, you know, a good amount of filling inside and they're covering it and everything. They don't show you everything. I don't want to say they don't intentionally show you everything, but that's just a snippet as to what happens. Most times these cakes are going in and out of the fridge, in and out of the chiller, in and out of the freezer, and there are processes in between that you don't get to see. So don't be carried away. If you're using fillings, use it minimally, start and then grow from there until you understand how to be skillful with this and then you can then explore and do whatever you want. But please pay attention to the structure of your cake. So that's the first thing I would say, okay? Now the second thing I'm gonna be talking about is the structure, the texture of your cake. Now, many of us, we do things or mix our cakes in a way that the structure will not hold, that, that it's, so, it's so light, especially for your tiered cakes. You're mixing 
moist cake flavors and then when you stack them before you know it before you move from here to there it has crumbled it has given way okay so what you want to do is to make sure that you're combining right you're mixing your flavors right you're not just doing things randomly you're not just you know taking chances probably just doing an all a three-tier all chocolate cake i've talked about this a couple of times but i feel that of course we have new entrants every day and then probably must have forgotten some of these things so i need to just say it again probably you've not seen the other videos where i said it and uh, where i thought about this but please ensure that you're pairing your flavors right that's what i'll just say pair your flavors right moist and 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 and, and well structured cakes don't pair flavors that are loose and that by the time you stack it cannot hold especially for those of you that start from your bakeries or from your homes right down to the event venue okay so please make sure that you're pairing right don't use all moist flavors because you're just toying you're just playing with the delivery of the cake the safety of the cake okay so bear this in mind and also please take note the third thing i'll be talking about is the timing of your delivery now there are some cakes that cannot withstand the heat especially if you know uh, especially if you are in a climate where it is hot somewhere like where i'm coming from nigeria here the sun doesn't do <laughs> as much justice to the name as it does back home so if you're in places where the temperature is really hot you want to do an early morning delivery for cakes like smbc imbc whipped cream cakes you don't want to do it when the sun is up when the weather is hot and then probably when you get stuck in traffic if it's in nigeria i know you have, we battle with traffic every now and then you could get into some bad kind of traffic that you'll be there for hours now you don't want to do a toy with this you don't want to be delivering a cake or have someone deliver a cake for you and your mind is just beating per second your mind is beating because you know that oh my goodness the weather is going to get hot definitely even if you have an air-conditioned car it's going to get hot somehow it's going to get hot so please mind the timing of your delivery and also ensure that you're sending off your cakes in a well-conditioned, air-conditioned car. The AC should be functioning, the AC should be working so that it remains cool, especially for these delicate cakes that I've mentioned, whipped cream, SMBC, IMBC, and other types of delicate um, buttercream that you use for your cakes. Fun that you really don't have anything to really worry about per se. But then all those other ones I've mentioned, even buttercream, if you don't have the right recipe for your buttercream tendency is that it would melt before you get to your destination which will result in a cake mishap now you don't want that okay so please do the right thing send your cake off have it delivered in good enough time plan your schedule well i've made a video on how to uh, plan your baking timeline so you can watch that video i'm going to link it up for you so that you can see plan your timeline well your baking timeline so that you're sending your cake in good enough time before the weather gets hot and everything so that it will not get affected now the fourth thing i'm going to be talking about is using what do i call it making your cake stick to the board i don't know the right or appropriate words to use now but giving that support to your cake what do i mean by support when i was back home i used to use a buttercream for my cake so um before i put my cake on my cake board or my cake drum i would apply a thin layer i would apply a good layer not so much but not the thin layer i would apply a good layer of buttercream on my board so that the cake would stick to it of course the cake will stick especially if it's a good recipe if it's moist to some extent once you put it there is that 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 there's that there's that connection the cake has with the board that's the way i can put it but then to help it further you need to put some buttercream on the board but since i moved to the uk with the kind of height of cakes i make and the size <laughs> i i use i use chocolate now so i melt a bit of chocolate in the microwave and then apply it to the base of my board before i put my cake layer on it that way when the chocolate sets it keeps my cake in place and then i go further to put in my dowel so please make sure that you're giving your cake the right um, support it needs so that it doesn't slide off the board. Put your buttercream or use your melted chocolate to keep it in place. Now the fifth thing I'll be talking about is the driving speed. Make sure that you're not crossing your, your speed limits. Make sure that you're not handing it to somebody who doesn't know how to, you know, drive or handle cakes. These two, I'll just merge them in one. Please make sure that you're giving it to somebody who knows how to drive, who knows how to navigate the road, who is not rushing, who is not 
um, the careless type, somebody that is careful and would handle your cakes well. Okay, for wedding cakes quickly, let me touch on this. I would please advise, I know that people do it, you see it a lot on the internet, you see it a lot on Instagram, social media, TikTok and all of that. But I've said, please be mindful of the content you consume and what you see and practice you know, in your business from watching other people. Okay, so some people would stack it three tier, four tier, and they're going up to the venue, and you see them, they're bringing it out from their, from the boot or the trunk of the car, they're carrying three tiers, and they're carrying two tiers, and they're working, and you want to try it, please do not. I would advise that you carry your cakes in separate layers, put them in different boxes. I've talked about this in my wedding cakes video, I think. Put them in separate boxes, and then go to the venue. When you get to the venue, you can now stack. The most I would stack for my cakes, for my wedding cakes or tiered cakes, is two layers. So I'm just stacking two. If I have to do that, I'll just stack two layers, take my things to the venue, and then finish it up on my work table. That way, my mind is at rest. I am not worried about anything. Of course, I'm driving safe. But if you are in a place where, you know, the road is just... You understand <laughs> there are potholes people are driving recklessly and anyhow that then you do not want to stack your cakes from your bakery down to the venue and if you're in a place like uk where you have sleets on the road where you have maybe snow in winter and all of that please drive with care make sure that you're driving carefully make sure that you're not taking chances and so that you arrive your venue safely safely basically your cakes arrive well nothing happens now the final point i'm going to be talking about is that you should make sure you keep it on a flat surface okay you don't want to keep your cakes on the car seat because it's going to sleep it's going to be slanted and your cake can slide off accidents can easily happen that way to your cake so please make sure that you're keeping on the trunk of the car very flat you're keeping it on the on the footwell or the foot of the car down depending on the size of the cake and then you're driving safe please don't keep it in a way that you put it on the seat and it's slanted if you're going to put it on the seat make sure that you have something to keep it this way it's keeping it straight and it's not bent it's not slanted this is one thing that i feel that i should let you know and i believe that this video has been of great help to you don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video valuable and also drop me a kind comment don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as well and if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments until i see you in my next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed